Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. Uh, we got the New Year's upon us. Christmas is behind us. Hope you had a joyous Christmas. Hope you kept the Lord in your Christmas. Uh, I'm just making a quick stop to make this video. Because I'll be trucking late tonight. You know... This morning where I picked up in Dallas, I met a nice lady and her husband. And, uh, well, first, let me tell you, we're going to go down a couple rabbit trails today. But towards the end of this video, I'll bring it all together and we'll tree that rascal. But uh, this lady and her husband had retired. They had owned a different, another business. And like a lot of us, they were looking forward to retiring. I mean, that's that big thing we're always waiting for, the big change in life and, you know, turn over a new leaf and do nothing and go fishing, whatever. So they sold their business and they retired. And after a couple of years, they decided they wanted to do something. That retirement wasn't for them. That happens a lot. It really does. When you were creatures of habit, mankind is. Uh, and when you're used to doing something all the time, it's hard for us to change our habits. That's like Tuesday morning. I was still a little bit aggravated at my company. I was still tired because Christmas weekend I didn't get a lot of rest. And I told the wife while I was getting ready to leave, I said, I ought to call in. Call in sick. And she was encouraging it. It's bad when your wife encourages bad behavior. Uh, I was sitting there watching the weather and Wednesday was supposed to be worse down there than Tuesday. And I told her I just need to go. I'd rather deal with showers today than guaranteed rain tomorrow. She just kind of laughed at me and said, you know, I knew you would find an excuse to go to work. Well, we kind of chuckled about it. And I told her, I said, well, you're married to a working man. Would you rather not? Uh... We're creatures of habit. We just do what we got to do. Uh, you hear people going to move. Another rabbit trail. They're going to relocate and get a new start on life. Most of them don't. They move. But they don't start all over and get the new start on life. Because they take their baggage with them. Whatever their baggage is, drama, wallowing in self-pity, whatever their drama, their, their baggage is, they take it with them. So instead of going to the new location and trying to correct their habits and get an honest new start, they take their habits with them. We're creatures of habit. And they don't have it in them to get a new start on life. They just start their old stuff in a new place. Think about it. Uh, every year at this time, people are making New Year resolutions. And I'm going to quit smoking. I'm going to start eating healthy. I'm going to the gym. I'm going to, I'm going to. And 99% of them fail because we're creatures of habit. It's just a simple truth of it all, folks. That's just how it is. Now I want you to put all of that with your walk with the Lord. Did you leave your baggage behind when you started walking with the Lord? When you got into your relationship with God and with Jesus, did you leave the baggage behind? Did you get a real fresh start? When you made resolutions 
to be a Christian and to try to be Christ-like, have you kept them? At this time of year, I want to challenge you. If you're going to make a New Year's resolution, how about making one to walk with the Lord? How about one to work on your walk with the Lord? How about one to get rid of that baggage? Leave them old habits behind. That's a resolution that we can live with. And guess what? You're one step up on any other resolutions or any other thing that you've been trying to do. Because if you do it right and you do it sincerely, you've got him to help. And if he's helping you, you will succeed. <coughs> so I'd like to ask you that if you're going to make any kind of resolution, if you're really unhappy with your life, if you really want a new, clean start on life, I'd like to invite you to walk with the Lord. Do it sincerely, wholeheartedly, and He'll help you. He'll clean you up like He cleaned me up. That's just the honest facts of it all. Y'all be safe out there at the New Year's. Watch out for the drunks. They'll be out. Y'all remember, God loves you. So do I. He will help you with your resolutions. He will help you start that new life. He will help you to leave the baggage behind. Y'all have a blessed evening now. Good night.